Harry and Meghan's wedding anniversary is chance for an olive branch from royal family. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will soon be celebrating their sixth wedding anniversary and former royal butler Grant Herald believes it's a chance to end the royal family feud. It's been almost six years since Prince Harry and Meghan Markle tied the knot and a lot has changed in that time. The couple got married in a fairytale ceremony on May 19, 2018 in St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. They were surrounded by family and friends as they said I do, with Meghan even being walked down the aisle by Harry's father King Charles. As the Sussexes approached their sixth wedding anniversary, however, things couldn't be any different. The pair are now estranged from the royal family after years of feuding and bombshell accusations. Former royal butler Grant Herald said it will be interesting to see if the royals publicly acknowledge Harry and Meghan's special day, Grant said. Typically, the royal family do acknowledge wedding anniversaries, we usually see social media posts so it'll be interesting to see if that happens this year. If they don't, once again it goes to show the ongoing division, if it does happen, then I see that as an olive branch. The royal family hasn't publicly celebrated Meghan and Harry's anniversary since their bombshell decision to step down as senior royals. Despite previously sharing tributes on social media. Speaking about how Meghan and Harry might celebrate their special day, Grant suggested they will do something low-key. He said, I'm sure Harry and Meghan will be marking their wedding anniversary together. Celebrations will probably be behind closed doors, maybe a dinner party with some friends or maybe just the two of them. Maybe they'll recreate that roast chicken dinner they had on the night they got engaged at their cottage in Windsor. They will definitely do something to mark the moment, for sure, Harry and Meghan will be celebrating their anniversary on Sunday, following their whirlwind trip to Nigeria. The couple visited the African country to promote the Invictus Games and met with key figures and servicemen. The Sussexes also supported fundraising events and delivered powerful speeches about mental health. They returned to the US on Monday.